of Mars and here we have a story scientists have created a li small living cell yet and they don't know what it is that's right for years DNA and computer operating systems served as cliches for each other DNA is a operating software of living cells in the same way the system software is DNA of the computer. The problem with that comparison is shown by research two decades of making is how biologists still don't know about DNA or genomes. That is an especially problematic development given, given the industry sprouting up around genetic manipulation. Genomics pioneer Craig Venter and more than 20 colleagues engineered a living microbe with a genome simpler than anything seen in nature. In other words, they created a life form whose relative simplicity and modular design make it a platform that one day may be as easily manipulated as, say, software. Setting aside fears of Blade Runner replicants running amok, the breakthrough revealed on Tuesday in journals Science may hold promise for new era in medicine, industry, and energy. These cells can be very, very useful chassis for many industrial applications from medicine to biochemicals, biofuels, nutrition, and agricultural, said Dan Gibson, top scientist at both Ventures Research Institute and his company, Synthetic Genomes Incorporated. Ultimately, the group wants to understand this tiny genetic framework well enough to use it as a biological foundation for more complex organisms that could address many of today's world's ills. Uh, this is getting scary what these people are doing. It won't be easy though Ventner has spent two decades trying to engineer a minimal genome and today's achievement reveals how much work there is to do. And great. So they're gonna create something and we have no idea what it is. And if it gets out in nature and gets in our bodies, who knows what it's going to do. That's not good. Scientists have long theorized how many genes might be required for a simple, viable organism that it can be used as a universal template. Many studies have tied estimate Tried to estimate the rock bottom number by knocking out individual genes, and they have settled on 250 to 300 or so. The original bacteria species and the Ventner group worked on is all pretty tiny. M. Mycoides is found in cow stomachs and has about 985 genes. Human genome has more than 20,000. Golden Delicious apples have more than 57,000. This new organism, nicknamed Sin 3.0 by researchers, has 473. And it goes on and on to talk about this. Uh, this is a little on the dangerous side. I'm not taking that back. I'm just afraid they're going to create something and then it's going to get out in the population. God only knows what it'll do to us. This is getting this whole genetic manipulation thing is getting out of hand. Well, it's not on anybody's priority or list to uh, slow it down, controlled or anything. Any, 
there's anything I think government should take a look at and maybe put their get their hands on is this stuff because once one of these things gets loose I just don't know anyway I want to fix more so you have it it's alive they're uh Creating life in the laboratory. Religious people said this would never happen. <laughs> Guess what? It's happening. I'm on Facts Mars. Thanks for watching.